mid-December 2012. And we're about to go dog sledding. Oh god, this is fun. It's so peaceful and beautiful and uh, the dogs when you stop start barking like hell because they want to uh, they want to run. But when they're running they're uh, they're very quiet. We're yeah, stopping for a quick bite to eat for lunch and the dogs are reminding us they don't like standing still. Hence the barking. Have you ever thought about having a campfire on a river before? Not on a river bank. On a river. A point will come if we run the fire too long that of course it will melt through. I'm standing on water. I'm walking on water. It's just frozen. You know, one thing that has uh, surprised me a bit is how fast you do acclimatize here. You know, it looks nice and sunny and we've got a fire in the background here. But let's not kid ourselves about it being warm. It's actually cold now. Here's the edge of the scarf. And that's ice just coming off the edge of it. My whiskers are a little bit frozen. Just there. And I've still got some ice on the ice eyelashes. Yet after five days of being in a wild, beautiful area like this, you don't feel the cold in the same way anymore. It's minus 30. I would never have thought that I'd be standing outside in nothing but a hat and two layers of gloves with my jacket unzipped in minus 30. But that's how much you can quickly acclimatize to being in the forest with some friends around a campfire and some coffee. And this morning we learnt that when our fire went out about two o'clock in the morning inside our gear, when we rustled around we got some water, it was getting very cold. I mean the, the glass of water I had next to my bed had the film of ice that had frozen. Our fire had gone out and by the time we'd got some more wood and figured out how to relight it again, we huddled around this little fire and think, oh, it's starting to get warm. And as I said, warm, the steam came out of the mouth like that as well. So it was still sub-zero. The vodka that we left outside the gear had frozen. Now, vodka freezes when it's about 10 degrees colder than the alcohol content. The vodka was uh, 38 proof, therefore it's about minus 48. Just as we thought the dog sledding was safe and fine and without a problem, we get reminded of something. Zooming down the middle of the uh, uh, river, ice broke, and in went Joelle and Olivia into the water. So, the first thing you need to do when that happens, when it's minus lots, is stop and make a very big fire. Olivia, how are your feet? Oh, it's really warm, look at that. Right, Olivia is steaming all over from head to toe. <laughs> That's what happens when you fall in the ice in the water and sit by a fire. How do you feel, Olivia? Pretty awesome, actually. Really? Try it sometime. A near-death experience and freezing to death, and your expression is, I feel awesome. <laughs> uh, some stuff, I think. Well, the dog sledding certainly has been cold, and it's taken us to some remote and beautiful parts of Mongolia, as if you need the word remote when talking about Mongolia. Ah, oh, magnificent dog sledding in the middle of nowhere, but you still got a wash. <laughs> Look at the background here. What a beautiful place Mongolia is. And other than the sound of the dogs that have been dragging us along on the sleds, not a human sound. Just have a listen in the background. What can you hear? Nothing. The gentle breeze blowing, the sound of the fire crackling in the background, the small sound of a dog or two, but listen, nothing. What do you wear? Well, all those clothes I had laid out before, 
it's time to get dressed. Layer one, t-shirt and thermals. And on top of all of that goes the coat and the gloves we have the cashmere liner, the overliner, the glove, and then the overglove. If I don't dog sled, at least I can rob a bank. If you're in doubt that these dogs like to run, listen to them when we stop. Now watch this. Go! It's like turning the volume off straight away. Without a doubt, the moment they start running again, it's like, yippee, this is what we wanted to do. Let us run, let us run, let us run. How beautiful is this? Early evening, sun coming down. Look at the beautiful nature going by as we bounce along on the dog sled. I gotta tell you, this gives you lots of really good thinking time. Stand on the back of the sled, a long way from a mobile phone, a long way from internet, a long way from email, with the sound of the runners on the ice or the patter 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 of the feet on the snow or if you dare stop the dogs the bark 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 of let me run again let me run again I can highly recommend for someone who wants to get away from things and get a good bit of thinking time come dog sledding in Mongolia it's global <laughs> <laughs> 